What is going on guys? Craig1287 here I'm bringing you some Battlefield gameplay. This time going on in the background you're going to be seeing some Battlefield Hardline gameplay from back when they were doing their closed and open beta. And the reason it is Hardline and not Dragon's Teeth, even though that just recently came out, is because there was a big bomb dropped by EA and Visceral that they are going to be delaying Battlefield Hardline on into 2015, early 2015. No specific month mentioned or or anything of that sort, just early 2015. And um, they provided three different reasons as to why they are doing the delay. Um, well, the, the cause is that they've taken a lot of input from the uh, the closed beta, the open beta, the stuff they've been doing with a lot of the YouTubers, flying them on out to EA and having them play the game, and, and then just general input from everything that they've had at, at E3 when they showcased it. And they've just been taking in all the input, and they came to their senses that a lot, they want to make a lot of changes, they want to make a lot of fixes and, and assurities, um, and that they want to do so much so that they just, that with their current time frame that they had, it wasn't enough time to release the game in the state that they would like to release it. And so they probably had to beg EA um, and remind them of a lot of recent EA releases and just say, guys, we, we need some, we need an extension. So they were granted that extension. This is awesome. This is yet another just uh, good thing for this Battlefield Hardline game. Uh, gameplay aside, this is just nice that EA is finally giving their their teams a little leeway. Uh, being able to come out with the beta as advanced as they did so many months in advance, and with it being a two-week uh, beta, that's expensive. That's a lot of servers. That's a lot of people that you got to pay to constantly be monitoring everything and fixing all of that stuff, and that's a lot of that's a lot of information for them to go through to see, you know, what weapons were people using, what were the kill times with these weapons, what were the all the different tactics, uh, you know, was there a certain tactic that people used that pretty much 95% of the time let them just coast on through and, and destroy the other team. And so that's a lot of data that they have to go through, and that's, of course, people you got to pay to go through that data. So all that stuff really is costly, and delaying a game like this, again, is costly. That's, uh, uh, well, it's, it's kind of a good thing. I mean, they're getting some free PR. The Battlefield Hardline is going to be on the front page of some websites and things like that for this announcement, refreshing people's memory that, hey, Battlefield Hardline is a thing, pre-order it, um, but it's uh, it's just it's more time that you're going to be paying people to develop game without that game actually generating revenue, aside from pre-orders. You're not going to have new uh, people purchasing a new game, and it's not that's delaying the DLC that I'm sure is going to be made available. And so all that stuff is getting pushed, and you're extending the time that you're having to pay people to create a game rather than pay people to fix the game you're already making tons of money on. So it's nice that they are doing this. And uh, their three reasonings are multiplayer innovation, single-player story depth, and the third one is stability. And I'm sure a lot of we, a lot of us that are playing Battlefield 4 right now are thankful to, to see stability on there. Uh, single player story depth. This is obviously something that Visceral is really, really pushing, and EA is really, really wanting to push. Whether the community wants it or not, um, I don't know. Um, I mean, have I played all the single player game uh, aspects of the last few Battlefield titles since, uh, well, since they started adding them in uh, Bad Company? I have, but you know, it, it lasts a day or two, and then I'm finished with it, and I never really touch it ever again because I do play my Battlefield games for the uh, multiplayer. But you're paying for the single player. People put time into it. They actually have their moments here and there. So uh, I'll play it, and if it's good, I guess that's all right. I don't want it to be the primary reason why they're delaying it. Anything multiplayer-focused should be a reason, and two of those three reasons were multiplayer. So um, I guess I guess it's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, if you're delaying the whole game, I'm sure their single-player team is completely separate from their multiplayer team, so you got to pay them. You might as well have them do something. Uh Make sure it's top notch, but uh, and then multiplayer innovation, and this is just from all the different uh, inputs that they've had from the focus testing, the E3, uh, from beta, and just general input. Uh, and they just said that the, there's a common trend amongst this whole article. Uh, if you guys can read read it in its entirety, it's very n not specific on things. It's a lot of things like we have great ideas. Do they listen to the ideas? No. 
Um, they, hey, we're going to be adding some new features. Do they specifically tell what any of these features are? No. Uh, they just kind of say things like, hey, we're, we're wanting to do this, and we want it to be great, uh, but it, it's general PR kind of stuff. Um, again, it's great that they're delaying it, and it's nice to see their reasonings, uh, which are hopefully the true reasonings for delaying it. Uh, but it's just, you know, it's it's nice to see specifics. But And then so stability. <laughs> they even say, we've learned a lot from Battlefield 4, and the continuing, uh, they're continuing to learn from the community test environment for Battlefield 4. So um, that's good that they're, uh, I hope a lot of the things that they're doing in the CTE for BF4 get implemented into Hardline. I wish a lot of the stuff in Hardline were implemented in BF4, things like being able to pull ammo and health directly off a player rather than waiting for them to toss it out. But I don't think that will happen. Uh, so, but no, it's still nice that CTE stuff is being implemented even in hardline. So it's all very good things. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you, again, if you want to read it, you know, check out the link that I have uh, in the video description. Again, there's not that many specific stuff given, but if you do want to read it in its entirety, that's all cool. And also in the uh, video description, I will be providing a link. Uh, this was actually posted uh, a while back, uh, July 9th, um, but it was uh, some little statistics about the actual Battlefield Hardline. They give uh, some interesting little things about how much money was truly stolen overall and how many vehicles were destroyed and how many police interrogations were. And uh, One of the key things was, or just ones that stuck out to me was the break-in success rate was a 50 percent that's pretty darn good for balance you can't really get much better than having both teams win uh generally an equal amount of the time that that speaks for for how well they balanced it from the initial get-go i mean they've still got months to do balancing and and whatnot so is it just the map or are they really that good in all the maps will be that well balanced doubtful but still that's pretty cool 50 percent uh yeah, that's pretty cool. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay going on there in the background. I hope you guys did enjoy the Hardline Battlefield uh, beta thing because I thoroughly did and uh, you should expect to see some good footage of that game when it does release in 2015 on this channel. But also expect to see a lot of Battlefield 4 because I will be playing both those games probably 50-50 split between the two of them. So hope you guys do enjoy all of it. Have a good one. Ta-ta.